Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code 75. It's called reverse words in a string. So what is this question asking us? Given an input string S, we want to reverse the order of the words. A word is defined as a sequence of non-space characters. The words in S will be separated by at least one space. Return a string of the words in reverse order concatenated by a single space. Note S may contain leading or trailing or even multiple spaces between two words and the return string should only have a single space separating the words. Do not include any extra spaces. So example one, we have the sky is blue. We want to return the words, not the characters within the words, just the words themselves. So our output is going to be blue is sky the, just reversing that string. And example two, we have hello world with trailing spaces. We don't want any extra spaces, so we are going to strip off these ends over here and just reverse the words. So we're going to get world hello. And example three, we have a good example. And again, we want to do the same thing, right? So we're going to go example, good, and a, but we only have one space between every single word. And we have a follow-up. If the string data type is mutable in your language, can you solve it in place with O of one extra space? In Python, strings are actually immutable, so this is not going to apply to us. So what do we want to do? Okay, so the task is pretty clear, right? We are given an input string S and we want to reverse the words in that string, remove extra spaces and return it. So this question essentially becomes how well we can implement our built-in Python functions. Say we have an input string S, a better example with a bunch of spaces. We know we want to reverse this and remove all these spaces. So the first thing I'm going to do is set S to be S dot strip. I'm going to be stripping all of these trailing and leading spaces. So after we perform this operation, what does S look like? S looks like the following. Now from here, we want to get every single word individually. So we are going to go ahead and split S into the words. So words is going to equal S dot split. And if you don't know what split is, all it does is as the word suggests, it splits our string into a list. And by default, it splits on spaces. So whether there's one or multiple, it's just going to split S into a better and example. So words is going to look like the following. It's going to be a better and example. So we have a list of words now and we know we want to go ahead and reverse this. So we're just going to go ahead and reverse that entire list. So reversed words is going to equal words colon colon negative one. All this does is it reverses our list. So reversed words would be something like this. Now we have our reverse list. We want to put this together and return it in a string concatenated by a single space. So we want to join our reversed words on a space. So it's going to be space and then we are going to join everything in reversed words on that. And that final string is what we want to return. So it's going to be return this right over here. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now I'm also going to add some print statements just so we can see how this looks played out. So I'm going to go ahead and print s over here and then print words. And I'm going to print what we get over here as well. So print so now running this with our own example, we see our input was a better example. So we can see what strip did is it got rid of those extra spaces on both ends, the beginning and the end. So we're left with a better example. Then we split. So we got every single word individually in a list. We reverse that list and then we joined on a space. So we get example better a and we return that just like we wanted to. So talking about space and time complexity for time, we go through S a couple times to split strip and then join. So this is going to be O of N if N is the length of S and for space is also going to be O of N. We are using extra space to build up our list, reverse it and then put it back together. So for both time and space, this is going to be O of N. So we just went ahead and solved reverse words in a string with a better example as our example. If you have any questions with this, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.